Okay, so uh, this video is about 1980s music. The 1980s saw the emergence of dance music and new wave. Disco fell out of fashion and uh, post-disco, Italo-disco, Euro-disco and dance pop became more popular. Uh, there was also rock music. Uh, it had a wide audience. There was soft rock, glam metal, trash metal, shrek guitar, um, which uh, was heavy distortion and there's adult contemporary smooth jazz and uh, glam metal um it was the mo largest most commercially success successful brand of music uh several major electronic genres were developed including electro techno house freestyle and euro dance uh r b hip hop urban genres becoming commonplace um so the nineteen eighties had Michael Jackson. Diana Ross, Prince, Madonna, Whitney Houston. Uh, the best-selling album, one best-selling albums is Like a Prayer, but uh, Whitney Houston. It was also um, the synth-pump uh, production, which fuel dance music. Uh, there was team pop with New Kids on the Block, Debbie Gibson, Tiffany, The Van Gogh's, George Michael, Olivia Newton-John, Boy George. There was Urban Pop, Tina Turner, Lionel Richie. Um, there was, you know, um, Cindy Lauper with True Colors, 1986. Time after time, she bought True Colors. There was Duran Duran, Wham, Karma Chameleon, Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, Bruce Springsteen, Tina Turner, Bon Jovi, Cher, Hall and Oates. And uh, the rock was split up into Hard Rock and Heavy Glam Metal with ECDC, Def Leppard, Kiss, Motley Crue, Bon Jovi, Scorpions, Europe, Twisted Sister, Cinderella, Queen, Pat Benatar. And then there was um, Alternative Rock with um, R.E.M., The Bengals, and um, Nine Inch Nails. There was soft rock with Bruce Springsteen, Tom Petty, um, Stevie Nicks, Suzanne Vega. Um, there was a uh, contemporary R&B with Jimmy, um, Stevie Wonder, Cool and the Gang, Smokey Robinson, Diana Ross, Earth, Wind and Fire, Marvin Gaye, De Barge, uh, Luther Vandross, Saint, Peebo Bryson. <sighs> and then there was uh, 90, Janet Jackson's 1989 album Rhythm Nation 1814 with Escapade um, Hip Hop uh, There was uh, Hip Hop Electronic music da in Dance music records were made using only electronic instruments and then uh, the, it became popular in nightclub scenes and uh, the discotheques as well as the race scene um, and then there was country music rock with post-punk with COC and the Banshees the Psychedelic First, New Order Echo and the Bunnymen, The Smiths uh, then of course New Wave music with um, like A Flock of Seagulls, I Ran So Far Away Dire Straits, Money For Nothing New Romantics The New Romantics, yeah And then there was uh, Gothic Rock, Heavy Metal Death Leopard, Glam Metal, Black Metal, Power Metal Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax, Motley Crue, Ozzy Osbourne New Romantics with Thompson Twins, Soft Cell, AVC, Yazoo, Talk Talk, A Flock of Seagulls, Gary Newman uh, Pop Music of course with David Bowie Synth Pop with uh, Alpha Will, Depeche Mode the Human League Yazoo Heaven 17, A Flock of Seagulls Ultra Vox Eurasia, Modern Talking, Banana Rama and there's also Salsa, Marengu yeah
Okay, so I'm continuing on, and that 100 best songs of the 1980s, uh, 10, Painful Night, Bizarre Love Triangle, A Shiny Bubble of Pure Pop Goodness, and uh, Buffalo Stands by Nene Cherry, sounded effortlessly in control as she rapped about her crew, making the listener feel totally part of her world, and what a chorus, When Doves Cry, the Purple Rain album, uh, a slice of Freudian autography, um, and then once in a lifetime. How soon is now? Love was tell us part Blue Monday. Uh, this is the best swelling 12 inch single of all time. A stunning explosion of drum machine beats, infectious hooks, and dead pen vocals. The the best songs, 80 songs, I Wanna Dance With Somebody, Whitney Houston, Take On Me by AHA, Western Girls by Pet Shop Boys, and then uh, Beat It by Michael Jackson, Into The Groove by Madonna, Blue Monday by New Order, at nearly 7.5 minutes long, Blue Monday is one of the longest songs ever to show up on the UK singles charts, with its chugging synths and stuttering drum machine beat. Uh, it uh, signified New Order's journey from post punk to dancer, Italo disco and inflected terrain. And then, uh, uh, Africa by Toto. Um, everyone wants to rule the world. Uh, Dilut, uh, this is a 1985 hit by Tears for Fears. Welcome to your life, there's no turning back. Yeah, and then, so uh, basically that's it. So in the 1980s, there was the trouble and Pop's golden era. Um, there was, um, a whole lot of great songs from the 1980s, uh, of course there was Spandex and, um, The Guns and Roses, The Electric is the most diverse, eclectic and extravagant decade in recent cultural hi history, and uh, it's a decade of societal decadence and political decay. Okay, so I'm continuing on with 1980s music, and uh, from twin uh, some of the other popular songs are like "Push It" by um, Salt and Pepper, and uh, it's a pumping, hollering groove, proto rave synths, and the occasional quick fire was. It was Billy Jean. Um, uh, it was uh, there was the. Uh, brutally stuck beats and immortal bass line uh, living on a prayer the, uh, uh, it's about gritty blue collar lyrics and then there was uh, yeah and countless others uh, so basically uh, that's it for 1980s music so there was music from the 80s will be around for a long time and uh, uh, yielded some of the greatest pop stars as well as a good portion of the best karaoke songs out there and uh, it refuses to go into obscurity there's, there's, there are some of the best party songs ever um, yeah and then, uh, yeah, so the 1980s had uh, the use of digital recording, synth pop music, and electronic genres. And then, uh, yeah, electronic music, uh, 
it was uh, house music was a style of electronic dance music and um, it has been widely cited that the initial blueprint for techno involved actually started in the mid 1980s and then um, there was also post-punk the most successful post-punk bands uh, after then the second generation uh, uh, wait, sorry uh, th there was um, new wave music that would be like yeah yeah so then uh, basically besides that uh, was, uh yeah synthesizers and stadium rock cheaper and smaller synthesizers brought exciting new possibilities uh, there was you know brother Louis Maria Magdalena Rocky like a hurricane forever young 99 love balloons uh, major Tom yeah and uh, what else was there The 1980s were, was a decade of big hair and even bigger egos and wearing spandex pants. Yeah. And then, uh, music in the 80s was about uh, image and, of course, MTV in 1981. Uh, the fashion and um, hip hop, hair metal. So popular music genres of the 1980s pop, uh, Lionel Wishy, Cher, Hall and Oates, David Bowie, Don Henley, John Mellencamp, Hip Hop and Ram DMC, Beastie Boys, LL Cool J, Salt and Pepper, Ice D, New Wave, Culture Club, Duran Duran, Devo, Fox Seagulls, Blondie, The Cars, Hair Metal, Van Halen. Van Halen, Metallica, Anthrax, Ozzy Osbourne, MTV Ugly, the most important event to influence music in the 1980s was MTV. It showed uh, new music videos and uh, the buggles, video kill on the radio star would be the most uh, played, would be your first music video and then new pop superstars. They experience a level of fame success not seen since Elvis Presley and the Beatles. Okay, and then so as I was saying, the new pop superstars, um, and then these stars, uh, they uh, gave fans first a glimpse into emerging trends. It set the gold standard for what pop music should be. And uh, you know, they're they are called pop mega stars. There was a greater public interest in celebrity gossip, and increased obsession with pop culture. A better ways to listen to CDs and cassettes, and portability of music, the Walkman and boomboxes, old pop stars and their new solo careers. Lionel Richie made memorable music videos. Uh, Paul McCartney collaborated with other musicians, and then the one hit wonders like uh. Aha's Take On Me, Saw Cells, Tainted Love, Nina's 99 Love Balloons, the, the, uh, and then uh, New Wave. The new Wave started in the 1970s and was popular until the mid 80s. There was artistic themes and was tied to punk rock, dance music, synthesizers, and other electronic instruments. Um, the term New Wave is meant as an all encompassing term that allows variety of highly diverse artists. And then uh, hair metal, yeah. And then yeah. Some of the other song top songs nineteen eighties besides what I said earlier, upside down, funky town, grow up with you, Betty Davis eyes, endless love, physical, come on I lean down under, eye of the tiger, come come lean, flash dance for the feeling, girls just want to have fun, wake me up before you go go, 
shout how will I know rock me Amadeus rock me rock me Amadeus Papa don't preach a sledgehammer never gonna give you up bad eternal flame love shack yeah so basically that's it for 1980s music yeah so um, I'm gonna sing a song Madonna like a virgin touched for the very first time like a virgin da -da 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 -da. I was walking in a da -da 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 -da. Till I met you Don't you want me baby Don't you want me Oh Don't you want me baby Feels like heaven Heaven is closer Heaven is closer Feels like heaven Heaven is closer Heaven is closer Who's that gentleman on the stand? Who's looking good today? Who's looking good in every way? Who's down my G? And let's rock with me. Buffalo stands. You know, the thing I really like from 1980s is probably the windmills and the 12 inch singles. Nowadays, they don't really have that kind of things. And then, when they had the extended versions of singles. And then nowadays you don't really have it. Nowadays songs are like two minutes, three minutes because of commercialization. But I always did like the extended versions, you know. I always like to listen to it on YouTube. Uh, probably one of the best is probably uh, New World Blue Monday, uh, New Order Blue Monday, Soft Cell Tainted Love with the Dino Ross B side on it. And then, um, of course, Madonna with her whole image. And her 30 plus year career. Yeah. And then, yeah. Basically, that's it. And then, of course, uh, Michael Jackson, Billie Jean, Human Nature, Thriller, his long music videos. And then, of course, Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. Um, yeah. Basically, that's it. Yeah, of course, TV shows like Full House and uh, Growing Pains. <laughs>